welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. Hi, Mark. What have we got for this week? This week, I'm going to show you structural navigation and selection. These are ways to quickly navigate through the structure of your code um, and also extend the selection as well. Um, before okay. we do that, I want to show you the, the uh, shortcuts. So I'm going to go into the Code Rush menu, bring up the shortcuts here. And I'm going to go into the selection and bring up uh, structure. And in here, we have uh, two optional features that may be disabled by default. You can turn them on if you like what you see in this video um, on, this, uh, on this page right here by clicking the Enabled button. These extend, okay, yep. these extend the selection, uh, oh, I guess I would say horizontally or, or, or orthogonally. They don't go up or down. They go kind of sibling to sibling is what they do. So these will, ex these will extend the selection. Well, I'll show you these in a little bit. Um, and then the other one I want to make sure you have enabled is inside navigation and then inside structure. We have these four here as well. So check to make sure that this is, these checkboxes are enabled for each of these and that for the folder itself is enabled uh, if you want to try these features out. All right, and I'll show them to you right now. Okay. So um, I'm down inside some code here. The, one of the most useful of these navigation features is navigating up to the parent. To, to do that, I press Control, Alt, and up arrow. And notice I jumped from the ad, I was over here, out to the parent of that ad, which is right here. If I do it again, I'm gonna jump up to that if statement. If I do it again, I'm up to the else. That else is parented by the if statement above. So if I hit it one more time, I'm going up there. Now one more time, if I go to the parent, I'm gonna go all the way up here to the beginning of the method. So I'm gonna do that and I'm right up there. Uh, yep. And if I go one more time, I'm up out at the class. So with a few keystrokes, I can get from anywhere in the class out to the class declaration just by hitting Control, Alt, Up, Arrow. Okay? Um, sure. The opposite of that, or it's kind of the opposite of that, is uh, to go to the first child. Um, now, we may think that this is the first child of the class. Um, watch what happens when I hit Control, Alt, Down. I come out actually over here. So the first child is out in this area here, which allows you basically to, um, to modify the class name or to go down into the uh, inherited tree, um, that sure. sort of thing, right, like that. Um, if I am inside a method, actually I wanna go, let's go to something that is, um, has a little more depth to it, let's go here. So if I'm here and I hit Control-Alt-Down, uh, I come over here to the return type. Uh, and now if I'm here, I can go from sibling to sibling. So at this point, there's no more down that I can do. So this part's a little bit, uh, I guess arguably maybe unintuitive at first, right? If I start here and I hit Control Alt Up, I might expect Control Alt Down will take me the first child, but this is the first child. But because we're using the Rosalind engine, the first child is actually not that, it's the sure. return type. All right, so now that I'm here, let's say I wanna actually do work my way in. I can go through the other siblings to this first child by using control up and down. So control down takes me to the next sibling point, which is at the end of the method name. Uh, at this point, I can go into those, um, I could go, if I wanted to mess inside, uh, mess with the, the uh, parameters, I would have to dive in, those are children. So I'd hit control alt down arrow to get inside like that, and then control down to get to each of the parameters, control up to get to back back and forth there. Control up and down are going sibling to sibling. If I'm anywhere in here, I go control alt up, I'm outside the parameters, see right there. And now if I uh, continue on going sibling to sibling, I finally now get in here the block, the code block. Control alt down at this point is gonna take me inside here, the first member. Now that I'm on my, I mean, I, I'm sorry, not the first member, the first statement. Now that I'm on yeah. the first statement, control down takes me to all the statements. Notice I skipped from here to here just by hitting control down. I'm here, control down, watch what happens here. I go down to there. So it's a faster yes. way to move line by line as I'm moving all the way down uh, through my code. Now here, when I hit control down, I'm done. I can't, there are no more sibling statements be, past this. No, but if there was another if statement following the else, that would be a sibling to this? Yes, it would, and we would go there. Okay, exactly. Fair enough. So um, the other thing that you, this is useful for is, um, let's say I'm here and I want to go to the next method, I can hit Control-Alt-Up to 
to get here and then control down to get down there, right? Yes, you're breaking out of the first method. Now methods are the siblings to each other and therefore going to next sibling right. makes the sense of taking you there. So now I'm just hitting control up and control down to go from method to method to method as we go through here. So that's structural navigation. You may find that that is easier for you to move around. You can move around with fewer keystrokes. The other piece I want to talk about is um, selection, uh, extending the selection to the to the the next or previous uh, nodes, and that works using the keys Control Alt Shift Up or Down Arrow. So if I have nothing selected at all and I hit Control Alt Shift uh, Down Arrow, it's going to take the member I'm on plus the next one down. And so see, it got that second statement right there. If I do it again, it's going to keep going statement at a time, sibling at a time, all the way down. See how it's doing that? Now, so I, you initially take the the selection of the method you're sorry, the member you're on, the element that you're on, and of course now because we're going down, we're extending that and including the next one, and then with each repetition, one more. Right. So I can I could I could I don't have to start without a selection. I can start with a selection here. Now hit Control okay. Alt Shift down, and now I've grabbed the second piece. One more time, I'm going to get that if else block down there. Really useful uh, for prepping for an extract method, very quickly grabbing the code. Now, if I reverse yes. that and hit Control Alt Shift Up, I'm going to add a, a, a sibling from from above, from a, okay. a previous sibling like this, right? Fair enough. Yeah, like that. Now, if I overshoot it, because this works with selection increase and selection decrease which we've already featured on another video. We'll link to that at the end of this if you haven't seen that. Uh, mm -hmm. I can just use selection decrease to undo my moves in case I make any mistake until I can get oh, all the nice. way back down to the beginning, right? So if I start here, I say I move down one, I move up one, I move down one, I move up one, I move down up, that sort of thing. I wait, wait, I went the wrong way. I can reverse that and get all the way back. That's what I sure. can do there. All right, and so that's it. I'm going to bring this up one more time so you can see the, the right shortcuts. Uh, what we, I was just showing was selection include next node and selection include previous node. And before that, we showed navigating to the parent, the first child, and the next and previous siblings. Excellent stuff. Well, thanks very much, Mark. That's a couple new navigation and selection tools to add to your toolkit. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about CodeRush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest CodeRush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.